Hi, my name is Lynn Rickards and I'm the author of Pink. I'm here to tell you a little bit about the story, which all started with my daughter, who at the age of about eight decided she was going to make a, a, a small set of, uh, well, a little classroom for her uh, toys. She decided to make a miniature classroom. She had um, tiny books and tiny pencils and all sorts of uh, miniature things and looked very realistic. And one of the things she made was a very small book, about two inches square, and it, it had a title across the top, pink, and there was a little picture of a penguin, a tiny penguin. And I said to her, wow, what a great title for a book. What's the story? And she said, well, it's about a penguin that turns pink, but she didn't have much more story than that. So I decided, what a great idea. I'm going to write that story. So I did, and I thought about it very hard, and I thought, well, what can be the problem? Because most children's books have to have a problem that needs to be solved. So I, I thought about the problem, and I thought, well, if it's a girl penguin, turning pink wouldn't be such a big deal. It might be quite a nice thing. She'd be going to school saying, look at me, I'm all pink. But if it was a boy penguin, that could be a very different story. So I thought, it's got to be a boy. So I named him Patrick, and I decided he would have to uh, work out what, was, what he was going to do about being pink. I went through a lot of different ideas, um, and including, for example, painting himself black again, but then he couldn't swim because he would get all wet and the paint would come off and he'd be pink. So I thought about a lot of different ideas and eventually the story developed as it did. Um, and I was, when I, I was thrilled to discover that Chicken House, with the publishing company, were going to publish it. Um, and when that happened, uh, I, they told me that it would be Margaret Chamberlain to illustrate, and I, I hadn't really heard of Margaret Chamberlain before, so I didn't know what to expect. And as it turned out, uh, she was about to start a new, try a new style. So even if I looked at her other work, I wouldn't have known what was going to, what my book was going to look like. So you can imagine how delighted I was when I saw the final artwork for Pink, because as you can see, it's very bright and bold, and uh, and, and it's uh, really the success of this book is is very much uh, to do with. Uh, Margaret's fantastic illustrations. You can see her, her uh, they're very simple and, and uh, graphic. They're looking, she, she works on computer. As you can see on this site, if you look at her own uh, video, you'll see she, she's talking about her style and how she does her illustrations. But you can see they're very bright. And there's Patrick turning pink and he's pink from head to foot. Everything is pink and he's miserable because he's a boy and boys can't be pink. So I'm, uh, I'm delighted to have uh, this book as part of the iBook series that uh, Margaret is, is launching. And um, um, I just hope that uh, the, uh, it's, it's interesting because it started off as a print book and then we made a musical, so it's also a musical, um, with lots of great songs about how fun it is to be a penguin and such like, and how important it is to be yourself and to you know be proud of who you are, because that's eventually what happens to to Patrick, he's he stays pink. He just uh, he has to learn to be happy with being different, and that and everyone else accepts him for who he is, and that's the the main message of the book. So uh, it's it's a great news that that pink is now an iBook and can be read on iPads and other devices. So I hope everyone enjoys the book.